Hello, Media Bricks here, back with another custom minifigure showcase video. Today's showcase video is on Ben 10, the original series, Omniverse, and Ultimate Alien or Alien Force. So, yeah, today's showcase we have Albedo, Albedo, I don't remember what they call them. It's, it's, it's a mix between those two. Then we have two versions of Diamond Head. We have his original series counterpart and his Omniverse counterpart. His Omniverse counterpart is an older figure. That I've just repainted. I will not be doing that with all these Ben 10 figures. I'm just going to be doing this with a select few. The rest of them are going to be completely new figures. It's just this first wave that's, you know, old and, you know, updated. But yeah, let's get into the showcase. Alright, to so start off with the Omniverse Diamond Head. As you can see here, he's completely painted in this metallic color. I got this inspiration off of this from the Ben 10 Race Against Time movie. It's like, I'm not good at mixing paints, honestly. This is the closest I could get to his color at the, this current time. His eyes are painted black and green. He was originally my reboot diamond head, but I remade him into Omniverse because he broke a lot. That's why this is kind of this off-centered and this, one, this arm's broken too, so I can't really move that one. Or it's a right arm, I can't tell. Cannot tell. But yeah, he is completely hand-sculpted by me. His back spikes are sculpted by me, his, all his back spikes are sculpted by me, his head is sculpted by me, his arms are sculpted by me, and his chest is sculpted too, that's why it protrudes a little, and that's sculpted by me. I use the extended legs technique from the moose figs, where you just cut off a minifigure foot and put one on there. Then I just use a diff different mixes of greens, I gave white around the Omnitrix, because this is Ben's newer Omnitrix. Which is more white and gray than it is the other ones. I have w the two white stripes right here. And the stripe that goes down and across. Like a t uh, like an upside down T for example. And yeah I have a little spot for his neck. I don't remember if he has like a little bit of diamond head right there. I mean diamonds right there. So it's like currently black at this current moment in time. I will look at my reference again and probably make sure. But yeah. That's it for Diamond Head. Let's move on to OG Diamond Head. Alright, with the OG Diamond Head, it's the same premise as the Omniverse Diamond Head, just older. And it was my first, it's my second attempt at making the Diamond Head. So, this is actually, this is my second attempt. That's my third attempt because, like, I modified on the original head, which is really bad. If you want to see that video, it's my most popular video if you want to see it. But yeah. Now, starting off with Diamond Head, as you can see here, he's completely painted half black, half white. I painted on the metallic green, weird metallic spring green color for his diamonds. I, I'll say this again, inspired by, by his Race Against Time appearance. Sculpted on the shoulder pads, the arm armor, the gauntlets, I don't know what to call it. Head spike is sanded and sculpted. Same with the chin. His back spikes are sculpted too, they're really thin. And these are just painted on, so it's more of a facade, but I did paint on the on the back, the spikes on the back. I gotta fix this paint up a little bit, but then it should be done. Our eyes are, eyes are painted, painted in black and yellow. And a little small section of air for small section of diamonds air for his chest. Then the white and gray omnitrix. And the black for patch around it. But yeah, so for Diamond Head, let's move on to Ultimate Alien Albedo. Alright, so starting off with my favorite Ben 10 villain. Well, second favorite. I actually like to scare better. But yeah, second favorite Ben 10 villain, we have Albedo. So starting off with Albedo, he is completely a red minifigure that I painted on. Not painted on. This one's, the back is painted, but everything else is just the average red minifigure. I sculpted, not sculpted. I only, I used E-Tape for the Omnitrix. Then I sculpted around that, not around it, but I sculpted the Omnitrix on. I did give it all its fine details. Okay, sorry about that. But we have two black stripes painted on. His back is just the same. His Omnitrix is pa painted and sculpted. And use E tape, mix it E tape too. His drip painted with black and white. White for the bottom, and white for the middle section, and white for the top section. His pants are in dark blue. His eyes are in red with the black eyebrows. His hair is painted in a granite gray color. 
which kind of chipped away, unfortunately. I mean, my granite gray is not too good, but still looks good, I'd say. Good, nice, dirty effect. But yeah, the back I probably need to fix up, but other than that, it's a pretty awesome figure. So yeah, and then he has a paint, paint, tin paint set on the side with the black stripe and black shirt. Now let's get on to the conclusion of this video. Alright everyone, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you all very much for watching. And yeah, bye. I really do appreciate the support. And yeah, bye.